All right, good morning, everyone. Pricesking.com. We're going to be talking about Datadog today. Make sure you like and hit that subscribe button. In case you don't know what uh, Datadog is, it's a software technology company that provides all sorts of products, infrastructure monitoring, network monitoring. Uh, you know, their specialty is data. Um, and so they'll you know help you monitor your databases your applications and serverless uh, you know technology that allows you to monitor so you know when it comes to this product that they offer uh, it's the next thing and then when you add AI to it uh, this stock is gonna probably take off and you don't want to miss the boat you know, before it gets into really you know high numbers uh, but let's let's take a look at it from a technical perspective what's going to happen in the next few days next few weeks uh, where it's at in the past um, couple of months and then uh, uh, dive into uh, you know what's happening in the next uh, few weeks also uh, what you're looking at right now is uh, this is the the chart from you know, up until back in 2020 uh, as you can see it's got a big like um, head and shoulder like uh, pattern if you step back and look at it uh, so now I got the fibs on right it was on an upward trend you know and then a downward trend uh, last you know a year it's been down um, but then you know during this past uh, two quarters ago the earnings when it came out it kind of just skyrocketed and of course every time there's an earning report there's some volatility but now, where do we go from here? That's the next question, right? Uh, if you're looking at it, I'm gonna zoom in. And now that you've seen the picture of the high, it's almost like 200 is the high, right? If we zoom in and see what's going on in the next few weeks, um, I do have the fibs already lined up. And so when you're looking at it, right, your 23.6 is gonna be the support for sure, all right? Now, what it's doing is it, it try to break this previous high out um, and this previous high right that was the the goal of it and and what what it did and as you could see it actually held it in right the pre the two previous highs ago it actually held it in right here and so the next thing what it's going to try to do is it's going to try to break it right um, and then it's going to try to gravitate towards the 38 two um, that's the ultimate goal right but before any of that happens um, if we look at the MACD and we look at the RSI, we've got some pressure downwards. Okay, um, you see the mountain coming down. You see the cross happening. You see the RSI, you know, an overbought condition. At the same time, uh, it's on the downward trajectory, right? So what we're looking at is most likely the next few weeks or maybe the next few days, there's going to be some profit taking. Okay, people will be taking profits and then this is where your opportunity comes in to go for longs okay and where do we go and where do we buy if we buy right now it's going to continue downwards right and then you're going to come to me and say hey look i bought this uh, as soon as i bought it it went down right you know those are always the you know uh, things that people come to me like hey i bought the stock and it went down but when i tell people is you look at the chart see where it's at um, you, you look for the entries that way if you're a swing trader you're gonna hold on to a stock you want to hold on to it in such a way that you get into the best price uh, and don't just rush into it unless you really don't care about anything and then just holding it on forever in that case that's still fine but you know sometimes I have people that are swing traders uh, that swing for a couple of days maybe a week or two and they want to make sure that they get in at the right price right spot and so what we're looking at here is look it did roll up the upper band on the Bollinger and then it's on its way down this next the mid band is going to be the support the 111 then below that is the 50 day and the 30 uh, the 23 6 on the the, um, the fibs right so this area right here is a support and then you got the lower band right the one thing I want to point out is the 50 day is above the 200 day Okay, so that's a great sign that it's gonna actually continue its upward trajectory, right? Uh, however, you get this, you know, down downward projection, uh, which will try to gravitate to this area, 105-ish, right? When it does, that is when you want to actually get it, okay? Because a lot of the people that have taken longs, they've now got about to take profit, and so when they're gonna take profit. Um, this will have some downward pressure. The, the bears are going to try to take it down over here, and then the bulls are going to try to, you know, hold it in with all these support areas. Okay, 
um, that's the ultimate uh, position that this you know stock is going to be at in the next few days in the next few weeks um, so if you're going to be taking a loan you want to take a loan here and remember um, this is one of those data stocks which are going to be implementing AI controls and whatnot and when that happens this stock could be an easily $200 stock and what's going to end up happening is it's going to try to break that 200 you know high if remember how if we were looking at it um, from the higher stepping back look right it's going to break this then it's going to try to break this then it's going to try to break this and then it's going to try to break this right but along the way you're going to have some downturns which is fine you just you know if you're swing traders those are the opportunities you're looking for right you're looking for them going down you get in get out get in get out get in get out right uh, even day traders you know uh, that's what they do intraday <clears throat> they look for opportunities when um, there's some you know volume that's gonna take place in that specific area you take advantage of it and and in this case we're gonna be seeing some downward pressure uh, look for opportunities for longs when it comes down and, and holds it in and that's when you get in let me know if you have any questions prices king.com let me know any other stocks you want me to do appreciate it like and subscribe